this is just going to be my first impressions. Of course, we like to do the smell test, right? I'm, I know I'm not alone in this. Ooh, that's, that is nice. That is very nice. <laughs> Hey team, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another skincare review on Monday. Today we are looking at the Tatcha Pore Perfecting and Protecting Set. I paid for this out of my own money, so in no way, shape or form is this a sponsored video. Before I dive right in and open it up and see what it's all about. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Aiden. I am a group exercise instructor and I am very passionate about skincare. On Mondays, I usually do skincare reviews bi-weekly and Fridays bi-weekly is a day in the life kind of shtick. Now, because I'm a group exercise instructor, that means I sweat a lot. So I need to take care of my skin. Otherwise, I will get clogged pores, breakout, etc. Now you can see I am sporting some rather wonderful eye bags and that's because Adam moved in yesterday. You can see behind me if you are a regular here, this has usually just got a couple of things on it, but it's got a bit happening today. We were up quite late last night from 9am yesterday to quite late last night, organizing, reshifting things, finding spaces, furniture, clothing and all of that. So my skin needs a little bit of love today. I paid $75 for this kit out of my own money. I had to wait for it to be delivered. It did take roughly four to five business days. So that's pretty cool and keep that in mind. What you get in here, you get four products. The first one is a deep cleanse. What is it supposed to do? It's a daily deeply purifying cleanser infused with a natural exfoliant to gently lift impurities, unclog pores and balance the skin's moisture for a healthy looking glow. Apply to wet face, avoiding, avoiding eyes and rinse. Now I have just gotten out of the shower. I did not wash my face. So I'm going to give this a go and see what it's all about. The next one is the water cream. It's an oil-free cream that bursts to release refreshing hydration and skin improving nutrients for poreless looking skin. It's perfectly prepped for makeup. Now, obviously I'm not going to be wearing makeup today or at any time, but doesn't mean that you can't use these products to get yourself a bit of a poreless looking finish. Massage your pearl size amount onto the face, neck and decolletage in upward strokes morning and night. The third one is the silk, the liquid silk canvas. Now this is a primer. Uh, it's featherweight oil free liquid silk primer that extends makeup wear while keeping it out of the skin, helping to minimize clogged pores and breakouts. Now I probably won't use that one, but I will use the the fourth one and that's the kiss lip mask an ultra soothing Japanese peach jelly that smooths plumps and helps restore soft pillowy lips overnight massage generous even layer onto clean dry lips and leave on now because skincare does take to give it an a honest review and an in-depth thorough review you need to actually use it over a period of time to see something this is just going to be my first impressions except for when it comes to the poreless looking finish type stuff. So there's a couple of products in here that state that it's going to give you kind of like a blurred pore finish. We will be having a look at that and see if that does anything. But yes, like I said before, this is a first impressions to see how I feel about it. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. This is what we look like. This is what it looks like as you open the packet. Packaging is very nice, very, very nice. I mean, you would expect that. Tatcha is a luxury brand over in the States. Well, anywhere really, I guess. Oh gosh, that's really in there. You can even tell with the packaging, it's glass. So it's not like a plastic type deal. Here we have the four products in front of us. The deep cleanse will be first, the water cream, and then the lip mask. Of course, we like to do the smell test, right? I'm, I know I'm not alone in this. First one is the deep clean, the deep cleanse, I'm sorry. Okay, it comes in a bottle that's got a little seal. Ooh, that's, that is nice. That is very nice. The next one is the water cream. Very same uh, aroma. It's just your atypical skincare, very fresh, crisp, clean, and it looks like it's, it's a thick cream. The last one we'll be trying today is the lip mask. If I can 
open it up. There we go. Interesting. Zero odor. You know what, let's have a look at the silk canvas to just see what it smells like. Or if it even has an aroma. Okay, it's a pump. Exactly the same as the other two, except for the lip one, because that had no smell whatsoever. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to wet my face and we are going to jump right into this cleanser. I will read out a little what it's supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be seeing, and then we'll dive right into it. I've got myself my wet little face towel. Now before I jump into the deep cleanse, I've got Touch's website up. The deep cleanse. It is ideal for those with normal oily skin. This daily gel to foam cleanser lifts, lifts impurities, unclogs pores and removes excess oil without dehydrating the skin. It, the oil-free formula also doubles as an exfoliator with natural fruit extracts working to leave skin feeling refreshed and smooth. Key ingredients, uh, amino acids from silk, leave, silk <laughs> leave skin soft and refreshed. Japanese luffa fruit exfoliates the skin and en encourages cell turnover to reveal fresh, smooth skin. Japanese wild rose visibly tightens pores and smooth skin texture. So, okay, we're gonna see a visible tightening of my pores. Let me move in so you can see them beforehand. Now I do have quite a few large pores here. Let's see if this shrinks them away to nothing. It states that it's made without oils, parabens, mineral oil, mineral oils, synthetic fragrances, sulfate detergents, urea, DEA, TEA, and phthalates. All right, let's do it. Now, because I do have a beard, we're obviously only going to be doing the forehead and around the eyes and the nose. I think that's wet enough. Small amount. There we go. And we need to massage it into the skin. Okay, it's got a bit of grit to it. It's definitely got that rose scent happening. It's not over the top, but it's like, it's there. You can see it lathering. I do, I am a big fan of skincare that lathers and that's just my own personal preference and that's because for me, it's a visual that it's doing something. <laughs> I know it's some kind of placebo, but hey, it's, that's just how it is. Right, we have got it rubbed in. It feels nice. It feels quite nice on the skin. And now it says after you've lathered it up to rinse it off or pat it off with a wet cloth. So I just flipped it over. I'll give it a moment to dry. You know, my skin does look kind of brighter. It's definitely sticky. It's got, it's got that tackiness to it, which I'm not a massive fan of. Let's just hope that that dissipates as it dries up. Well, hmm. They're still there. I feel like they're less pronounced. They kind of got like a blur, but that's not the only product. Moving on. Now that my skin is dry, uh, the tackiness is completely gone and it does feel, it feels very clean. I'm gonna move into the next one and that's the water cream. It says on the website, Bubbles of water burst on contact with the skin in this oil-free vegan moisturizer that is loaded with Japanese superfoods. Fast absorbing and non-greasy, this lightweight gel-like cream also reduces the appearance of pores to an instantly dewy base for makeup. All right, so again, this is going to improve what has been improved on my pores in the previous product, the cleanser. So I'm just gonna get the, the excess that's on the lid itself. It smells really nice. Hopefully that is enough. I did not have to dip in. I just used what was on the lid. It really spreads right out under the eye into my wonderful eye bags. It says to use upward strokes, but all we can do is follow along and see. All right, it is on my face. It is very nice. It is feeling kind of powdery, which is weird, but very smooth and hydrated. And it has that very subtle skincare slash that rose kind of scent. Again, it's not overpowering, but it's like it's there. So if that's a thing, uh, if that's something that's like a deal breaker for you, you just keep that in mind. Let's move on in, you know. 
they are a lot less noticeable. So far so good. Last product that we're going to try today is the lip one. So the Kiss You Lip Mask. This rich non-sticky gel mask melts into a liquid to intensely comfort, hydrate and lock in moisture for lips in need. The anti-aging treatment delivers potent ingredients to your delicate pout. Visibly plumping fine lines, okay so visibly plumping, and boosting the appearance of suppleness and firmness. It is perfect for replenishing flaky parched lips with essential moisture. Yep, can't get it open. There we go. Well that sucked. Probably a gel. I've got a very small amount. It has absolutely no taste. Feels kind of just like Vaseline. Yeah. Oh, actually, very subtle. It's a very subtle taste. Now that it's on my lips, I don't know if I'm a fan or not. It, I can feel it on my lips. It, it does feel like Vaseline or Vicks Vaporub if you're from here in Australia. But I do feel a slight tingling which would make me believe that that's the plumping agent because it's supposed to plump your lips. That I'm going to have to give you my thoughts on over time as I use the product. Before I give my final thoughts on my first impression of using Tatcha, it's the first time I've ever used it, let's zoom in to have a look to see now that everything is settled in and dried down and all of that, if my pores have been minimized or visibly masked in any kind of way. You know what? Are you seeing this? Where did they go? I had very pronounced... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this one a total thumbs up because my pores have just, like, vanished. I mean, they're still there, but they are 100% not as visible as they were before I started using those three, those two products. I haven't used the Silk Canvas primer because I don't really need to but the cleanser and the water cream yes aroma not strong but it's there texture fantastic packaging is really cool the lip mask packaging is a little bit too small for my hands I found it quite difficult to get open but all in all 75 bucks is what I paid for this from I ordered it from Mecca and had it delivered I may be converted. I mean come on my skin looks great. If you want to check this out I will link it down below Otherwise this was this would have to be one of the most successful First tries first taste of first experience type deal that I have done on my channel. Thanks for watching team coming up on Friday I am going to be showing you some footage in to Adams moving in so if you are interested then you need to keep on watching